This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And welcome back to another exciting episode of the Kerbal Space Program. So um, I'm doing just the, the normal, like, uh, what's it called here? This is a normal playthrough. Uh, the career, that's the word I'm looking for, career. So we're doing the career playthrough here. And I have a bunch of missions here, but I don't think I have what I need in order to complete any of these. Like I can't ferry people around yet. I think I need the um, ship parts, the spaceship parts to like do this stuff here. Uh, these here, I, I mean, this one I might be able to complete, but honestly, what we need is just a bunch of science. So that's what we're going to attempt to get today. We're going to attempt to record some science and get our science up because we need 45 points before we can unlock anything else. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this. By the way, I learned something very, very important uh, about this game. I am a horrible rocket scientist. I just want to put that out there just in case anybody is watching this and you expect something fantastic expect fantastic crashes. That's about it. <laughs> Cuz I'm I'm absolutely terrible at this game. I was watching some other people play it on YouTube and uh yeah, the stuff that you can do in this game is amazing and I hope to one day be able to do it, but uh I don't know. All right, so we want this here. We're going to start with a thumper uh cuz this is going to get us like really high. Actually, I want to get a decoupler and we're going to put that on the bottom there. We'll put that there. This should allow us to break the atmosphere, which is what we're shooting for right now. I think where we're at though, I have to break the atmosphere and get into like a suborbital state in order to actually um, get any type of science. So actually, you know what? Let's pull this off. Let's do, let's do this. And then we'll attach this to the bottom like that. We have to be very careful. We do not have a lot of weight right now. You can see we're at 12. We only have 18. So let's zoom out and uh, we'll zoom down a little bit. Now, what I want to do, actually, you know what may even be better? Let's remove that. And it may be lighter as well. Let's grab a, another decoupler and we'll place that on there. And then we'll grab a couple of these fuel tanks. Let's do, let's do, do I want to do two or three? Let's do two big ones and one of the little ones. And then we will grab this engine here and put that on the bottom. And then... What are we at now as far as weight? Yeah, that drastically reduced our weight down. Okay, so now what I want to do, I want to give that a little bit of a boost. We're going to grab two of the hammers and actually, no, we're going to grab the side couplers and we're going to attach those to the side like so, like that. Yeah, and then we will grab two of the hammers and we're going to put those like that. Yeah, I think that will work. I think that will definitely, because we can use these to get going, bust those off, and then use this to escape orbit and use this to go even further up. Okay, so I want to go into our aerodynamics here. I want to put those on there. How are we looking on weight? We're at 16, not terrible. Okay, let's go to our parachutes and we'll throw this one on top here to keep those guys safe and I'm not going to try to save any of this rocket stuff. I probably could. Do I want to, though? Do I want to or do I care? You know, I don't care. We're only at six grand. It's a relatively cheap rocket. I think it'll be OK. Let's grab a little bit of sciencey goodness. Let's uh, let's get this on here. I always like putting this stuff on here. I feel like it makes a difference. I'm sure it doesn't. But, you know, we're going to put that on there. We'll put that on there as well. And, uh, oh, we got, we still got the, uh, the symmetry on. Let's turn the symmetry off. We don't need a ton of those. So we'll turn that off. Let's try this again. We'll put that there and we'll put that there and that should be good. Do I, well, let's just go ahead and get this one too. The more sciencey information we can get, the better. Okay. And we need our communications. So we'll put this here that will allow us to communicate uh, and send stuff back 
Does that look crooked to you? No, that's good. I'm just crazy. Ignore me. Okay, so I think that should do it. Now let's check and see our stages here. So we're going to fire those first, and then those are going to decouple. And then we're going to fire that rocket. Then that decouples. Fire that rocket. Uh, and let's add in another one here. So then it decouples, and then we can fire the parachute. And just in case... Just in case, because it makes me nervous, uh, let's zoom in and let's throw one of these here just in case things get a little crazy and our re-entry is too fast. So yeah, okay, that should be good. Let's attempt to launch this bad boy and see what happens. All right, we have uh, our Kerbal pilot here, Mr. What is his name? Jeb Jebediah? Old Jebediah Kerman. All right, click both of those. We got our guidance systems on, all of that. Let's hope for the best. I didn't put any fins on this, so uh, we'll see what happens. I have yet to figure out how to do this uh, heat shield for the testing. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. I've tried a bunch of different things. Some of these are really weird. Like there was the decouplers where you had to wait until the decoupler or until the whole thing had landed before you could even fire the decoupler. So essentially you like waited till it landed and then fired the decoupler and then that completed it. All right, so we're gonna pop those off. We're gonna crank our throttle up, crank it up all the way. And uh, we're looking to break orbit here. I think when we get up into here, this is where we need to be. So hopefully let's, let's tailor that down just a little bit. There we go. Just nice and slow and steady. As long as we're gaining altitude, we should be okay. We should be good. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit, and I want to see how high we can get. But I don't want to get too high. Okay, that should be all right. That's going now. Now let's pop that off, and then then let's fire this next one. And hopefully we don't just completely, you know, end up in space. <laughs> I don't want to just end up in space floating. Forever and ever and ever. I don't know. We'll see. We're th we're still in. I think we're still in the atmosphere. Okay, here it goes. This rocket's about out. All right, there we go. So we'll bust that off like that. Now, if we click these guys, we click crew report. Yeah. See, we're still not getting any science. That's weird. Um, zero percent science value. What if we click keep experiment first? Review crew report. Still no science data. I don't know what I need to do now to get like some decent science data. All right, maybe we hit transmit first. Let's hit transmit. All right, crew report. Still wasn't worth anything. Keep experiment. Okay, so I guess now we just wait it out and hope that we return. So yeah, still no science data. I don't know what I need to do to get more science data. I'm having a heck of a time with this. Let's check our uh, our trajectory here. Oh yeah, we're not gonna get lost in space and that's the important thing. If we zoom out, so that's the moon's orbit right there. I don't even know how you can manage to connect with the moon. And it is possible to basically satellite around the planet. Oh, we're still going. All right, let's speed this up. Can I speed it up? Here we go. Whee! Yep, that was our trajectory. All right, let's go back. And uh, we're going to speed this up. And let's go ahead and pop our parachutes now, get them activated, ready to go. And they should, they should flare out when it's time for them to flare out. And we'll just speed this up. Uh-oh. And uh, we didn't make it. Let's uh, let's go over here to the mission control. I may be able to do this one. We need to hit 40,000 meters at a speed of 530 meter or 530 to 600 meter and 10 meters a second. And then we have to fire this rocket. I don't know if I can manage that with the parts that we have. Let's try it. We'll claim it. We'll give it a shot. I can only have two right now, and I don't think I can do any of those others. So I didn't even look. Were he at 400 some meters beforehand? I don't know. It should be easy enough. All we should have to do is decouple that, 
will drag us over here and we will grab, it doesn't even have to be anything serious. It could just be the tiniest little rocket. We'll do that like, oh, nope, connect please. Do that like so. Connect that onto there and now our weight is too much. This should do it, hopefully. I don't know if we're gonna hit the speeds we need to hit, but we'll give it a shot. All right, let's launch it. And then our poor little guy, I don't even know if he's gonna make it back. <laughs> let's do this. Okay, here it goes, here it goes. We got this this time. We're just gonna speed things up just a little bit here. <gasps> Ooh, it might not have been good. Nope, Never mind. don't speed it up. Don't speed it up. <laughs> Can you please correct yourself, Rocket? All right, let's check this. So we just need to hit this marker right here. All right, let's, uh, can we correct? No, we're not correcting. Let's bust that off. Let's do this. Come on. You got it. You got it. Okay, we're not, we're just a little bit of an angle. We should be all right. We should be okay. Hopefully. We just need to, uh, we're going to slow this down a little bit because we need to make sure we hit this. 40k mark. Okay, let's just speed things up a little bit here. And that was that was short lived. Okay, so get rid of that one. Ooh, we straightened up a little bit. Fire this one. I don't think we're gonna hit the 40 marker. Ooh, we almost hit the right speeds. Oh, now we're going too fast. Okay, our speed's good then. So now we just need to slow down, which we can do. Okay, all right, all right, we got this. We got it. So now we just need to wait until we're at, ooh, a little spin there, the right, uh, the right altitude, and then I can kick the speed up, hopefully. Oh, no, we're going to hit speeds. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 go straight, go straight. Okay, here goes. Oh, we're, our speed's too fast. Activate the rocket. Slow it down. Slow it down. Nope. And we're out of fuel. Oh my god, these are so hard. Because we have to be at this altitude and these speeds before we can activate it. And we're probably going to blow up. Okay, so I removed the one rocket and added more fuel tanks. Because I feel like this rocket gives us way more control. So we're going to see how this works. Let's do it. So the initial launch always goes well. Like we get plenty of speed. Things are going nice and fast. Drop those off. Get our throttle up. Kick up the next one. And then it's going. And this is like a, this is a slow and steady rocket. You can actually bring that down to about right there. And we're slowly increasing in speed. I think it's going to be, it's going to come down to a trial and error and timing issue. You know, we we'll, we'll just have to time it so we get just the right amount of speed when we hit uh, this mark here. So we're we're just gonna keep going. We're slowly gaining speed, and I wanna actually what I wanna do is I wanna get it to 5:30 and hold, which would be ideal. So we're gonna attempt that here. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. We're at three. Okay, we're still gaining speed even being even dialed down. And we're at uh we're halfway point now, and we're a little over halfway in the speed department, and we're gonna burn out of we're gonna burn out of fuel. We might make it. Alright, let's um We're not gonna hit our speed, maybe. Okay, there's our speed marker. Nope, we missed the altitude. Come on! Crash down, go down, go down. We were so close. That's definitely going to work. It's definitely going to work. I just need to time it a little bit better, but we almost had it. We almost had it. All right, let's try this again. Okay, I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it. We're almost there. We're almost there. We just need to hold. All right. That's it. We did it. We did it. Okay, so we can, we can take our throttle down on this. Oh. Welp, I already disconnected from it. Okay, never mind. Bye, rocket. Shove us back down. Yeah, get off of it. Okay, there we go. We did it. It was just a timing issue. We just had to time it just right, go slow and steady, and I just tried to, um, I got the speed right where it needed to be, and then I just held it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pop these chutes. Hopefully, 
we're not too high. Hopefully we don't burn up in uh, re-entry. That's what I'm hoping for. We will see. Let's go right about there. And I don't know what these, I don't know what these mean. I have no idea. But now we're just kind of free falling here. Let's see. I know it's dark. I should just skip to daytime, but I mean, you can see it's right, right here. Here's our thing. Oh, can we, uh, can we get a crew report? Let's get a crew report while we're here. Okay, here we go. And you know what? Can we, can we send some science back? Yeah, let's send some science back. Okay, here we go. We're going, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just a little bit. We're just going to fall like that. Hopefully it's not too fast. We're coming in hot. We still have both of our parachutes, uh, the one the slowest down and the other one. I just don't want to burn up. Don't burn up. We might be going too quick. No, we're going too quick. Oh, oh, it worked. It worked. We're good. We're good. We did it. All right. And now we'll just uh, slow things back down, recover the vessel, and let's see what we got. Okay, so we got, we're at 16, so we're in 0 0.2 science. Oh my gosh, for uh, our gathered data. And uh, we got a nice chunk of change out of all that. Okay, a little bit of reputation. I'll take it. There's a couple, I wonder how you pick. Okay, we can get this. Let's recover that. What is this over here? There's something over there. I don't know if it's a, a rocket. Oh, we can move. Okay, here we go. What is this? What do we got over here? Is that like a chunk of rocket? Something we can't pick up? Oh, that's as far as I can move. Can't click it, can't do anything with it. I think it's a chunk of rocket. That's weird. Okay, let's go back on over here to our setup over here. Let's see if we got any new stuff. Nope, nothing new. All right. I gotta figure out a good way to get more science because we're at 16, we need 45. We need a lot of science. Even if I do all of these, I don't think I'm gonna get enough science. I'm gonna have to look up a tutorial, best way to get science. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I wanna give a big thank you to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, if you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.